What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate Doctor Disaster, and it is seriously looking as though Unknown Nine Awakening might have a real chance at becoming the least popular game of the year, which is extremely impressive, in a bad way, considering that it has some really stiff competition. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure many of you don't even know what Unknown 9 Awakening is, even though I've covered the game several times on this channel already. For those of you unfamiliar, it's an action game developed by Reflector Entertainment and published by Bandai Namco. More importantly than that, it is a sweet baby game, meaning that a lot of people who might have given the game a chance are passing on it instead because we know what to expect from sweet baby games. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <coughs> guys, guys, guys. Anyhow, this game is set to come out in about a week and nobody is talking about it. Nobody is planning to buy it. It is currently sitting at number 1522 on the Steam Top Seller list, which I don't need to tell you that that is awful for a AAA game due to come out in a week. For reference, I saw Dustborn reach as high as about number 700 the week that it came out. Worse than that though, nobody is watching the promotional videos that Unknown 9 is putting out. And I mean just about literally nobody. They've put out three videos in the last week, and not one of them has come close to even cracking a thousand views. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop doing it at a certain point because all they're managing to do is bash themselves over the head with maximum embarrassment. <laughs> Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter where I keep a list of woke and DEI infested games pinned to the account at all times for your reference. My handle on the platform is Dr. Disaster one In any event, the stage is set for Unknown 9 Awakening to be just about the biggest flop of 2024 which is saying an awful lot. We have seen some real dandies in the past several months, with Concord failing to break 700 concurrent players on Steam, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn, another sweet baby game by the way, also failed to hit 700 on Steam, Tales of Kenzera Zhao, another sweet baby title, failed to hit 300 concurrent players on Steam. You'd think that by now, people in the industry would notice the pattern that sweet baby games fail almost as a rule. You can argue that maybe it's because sweet baby has terrible ideas, or you can argue that gamers are just repelled by the sweet baby brand after the controversy. Either way, it doesn't matter. In the end, the games simply sell like shit, and that's all that matters. But anyhow, Tales of Kenzara didn't even hit 300 players, and Dustborn couldn't even crack 100 players on Steam concurrently. Think about that. Think about it for just a second. They didn't even crack triple digits, and that is the sort of player count that I expect to see from Unknown 9 Awakening. I mean, for Pete's sake, look at this PC features trailer that they just put out. The trailer dropped 22 hours ago at the time of this recording, and they've only got 285 views on it. That's not 285,000, by the way. That is 285. 
Granted, the Unknown 9 YouTube channel only has a little over 3,000 subscribers, but still, they couldn't even get 300 views in a day. That is mind-bogglingly awful. What made them think that releasing this thing was a good idea? And like I said, they've actually released a couple of videos this week for Unknown 9. They're trying hard to drum up interest. This one here, this video, is a behind the scenes with Anya Chalatra. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is the chick from the Netflix Witcher show. She's the main character in Unknown 9 Awakening, and they put out a behind the scenes with her, and it managed only 557 views in five days. Once again, this is pathetic. And then, they also put out this theme song video from the game. This video was released six days ago, and it has 464 views, because nobody gives a shit about hearing the theme song to a game that they were never going to play anyhow. Considering the fact that they can't even crack a thousand views on a free-to-watch video, it seems unreasonable to expect people to pay 50 bucks to play this game. At least these morons that made Unknown 9 Awakening had the sense to not charge 70 bucks like so many of these other AAA game titles. At least they realize how insane that would have been. But the thing is, there was at least some level of sheer insanity going on with Unknown 9 because they hired Anya Chalatra in the first place. I can't imagine that she was a cheap hire compared to other lesser known actresses. Not that she's an A-lister or anything like that, of course, but she's definitely better known than some random person working in the industry. It's wild that somebody out there at Reflector thought it was justifiable to pay for Chalatra, but that is par for the course with a sweet baby project. In case any of you weren't aware, originally Unknown 9 was a comic book property. This is the cover of the book Unknown 9 Archive, and on the back they credit David Bedard and Kim Belair, the two co-founders of Sweet Baby, as having worked on the book. This was exposed several months ago, and ever since, the interest in this game has completely waned. Gamers are clearly entirely turned off by the involvement of consultancy agencies that only want to push progressive woke crap into games. This year has been a financial bloodbath for the gaming industry, with all of the aforementioned games and plenty more crashing and burning. Unknown 9 is obviously, obviously not going to do anything to buck that trend. I can't wait to see how few people are playing this game when it comes out next week, but I'm going to leave it there. What are your predictions for the max concurrent player count of Unknown 9 when it launches? At this point, I'm thinking it's going to be closer to Dustborn, with less than 100 concurrent players, than Concord, which managed just under 700 concurrent players. But what do you think? Drop your thoughts into the comment section below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me, Hardies. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.